look where I am today. It's King's Dominion. Oh my gosh. I haven't been here in like nearly five years. And um, of course, it has my favorite coaster as of now in Tomato 305, which we'll see in a second. All the way back there. Woof. There it is. Uh, the park just opened up literally right now, so we'll get there pretty soon after opening, which is cool. And um, the big new credit for me is Twisted Timbers, which I am so excited about. So I'll catch up with you guys once I'm in the park. The parking lot does not look too crowded yet, so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't increase too much. It's a Friday in uh, July. Look at that. There's Dominator right there. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, that's a big coaster. Uh, longest BM floorless out there actually. There's of course the Eiffel Tower, very exciting stuff. Windseeker down there, there's that big sign right off of I-95 for King's Dominion. Awesome, awesome stuff. I am stoked to be back here. Woohoo, King's Dominion. I forgot how nice of like an entrance area this is. This is like really cool. Still haven't seen a train run on that meter or any uh, ride run hopefully that starts soon uh but yeah and i'm excited for grand carnival as well look at that i'll also be showing you guys the all new coconut shores the new addition to the water park um because i will be going to the water park which is cool that's new for 2021 but yeah and very nice just with the floor ground too I, I forgot how impressed i am with this and i already see the fountain the front entrance area of international street that is awesome pretty cool Okay, so that was a great job with the whole entry process. I was uh, really impressed with that. Um, yeah, just quick job getting in right away. And also, I forgot how awesome International Street looks, especially decked out in all these Grand Carnival decorations. Uh, they really don't spare any expense. But yeah, these fountains are obviously gorgeous. I love all these little tables they set up here. The facades of all these buildings. It feels uh, pseudo Busch Gardens Williamsburg -y. Obviously, it's not the same thing, but it's really good for a regional theme park. I'm always impressed with that. Yeah, this just looks fantastic overall. It's exciting being back. Uh, I think I'm going to make a beeline, honestly, just for Twisted Timbers right away and then go ahead uh, to the water park because that probably is going to get some serious lines. Wow, those are some big letters right there for <laughs> Carnival. Very grand, you could say. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, actually, no, the pun was completely intended. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's great being back. It's been, again, like almost five years. I've only been to this park three times ever. And uh, it's cool to like realize like these pathways and be like, oh, wait, this does seem really familiar. And just rediscover everything. Hopefully I remember the roots or whatever. But yeah, no, already I'm really impressed. It's a great entrance area. I know not all of the sections are as good looking, but we will see. Wow. So I just passed the Italian area and this is the, the Chinese one. They do a really good job theming the little areas around each of the six countries that represent Grand Carnival. And this is where they're going to give up all the, the Chinese food. That's part of it. It's awesome how they do this. And look, here's the next little area. Uh, this looks like Germany. They have the German flag over there. You see all that? And here's India over here, and it's really awesome how they just make you just go all around the circumference of the Eiffel Tower. Oh look, there's Berserker flipping its riders, and there is of course Dominator. Also, this walkway is just gorgeous, going from uh, International Street to the rest of the park. Uh, the, the ground is just pretty. Those trees are massive. Usually, amusement parks don't have like huge trees like this, but that's cool. And of course, the iconic sundial right there at the end of the path overall so far i'm ridiculously impressed with the presentation of the park uh yeah i'm excited to go and ride it something but yeah especially after like you know going to bush gardens one week ago um to be impressed with king's dominion you know that's like my favorite theme park bush gardens yeah that's that's pretty good we'll see how the rest of the park fares but already yeah good job look at this we're in candy apple grove we got the big apples and look, it's Twisted Timbers! I'm so excited, oh my gosh. I've been so hyped about this coaster for like ever since it was first announced, like, I don't even know, four years ago or something. And look, Windseeker's going up over there. This is awesome. Also, yeah, this area is beautiful too. Lots of shade, uh, great ground. Uh, 
landscaping's beautiful. Good job, Kings Dominion. Uh, and overall, it's not too crowded yet. Let's hope it doesn't get too much. But yeah, this is great. Oh my god, and they're playing the Four Seasons. That is awesome. Uh, because you have this little kind of almost 50s looking area over here. And they've got, of course, the big uh, Scream slot, Sky Flyer or whatever they call it, Sky Coaster. Apple Zapple, which uh, now uh, used to be called Ricochet. I only wrote it as Ricochet. Now, of course, it's got the new Apple theme to go around with the uh, Candy Apple Grove area. But of course, I'm stoked for this. That boy right here by the Tupac style. Oh, I just saw the drop tower drop. I can't wait for that. There's Grizzly over there. Sorry, I'm just like going around. I have no attention span. I'm so excited to be back here. Let's catch a Twisted Timbers dropping. That Twisted Barrel old drop is insane looking. Oh my god. Whoa, I forgot how cool the sign looks. Nice thing right there. Okay, so yeah, my forgive my crazy hair. I just got off of Twisted Timbers, second row, then back row. This thing is insane. Whoa. Okay, that could be an awesome thumbnail for the video, by the way. But, um, so first off, it's awesome that Kings of Me has a ride that has like a storyline and good theming in the queue and stuff. Great queue, great station. The trains were great. They ranked two trains. The operations are fantastic. One, the crew is so energetic. Two, they were so fast because RMCs, like, this type, you have to check the restraints twice, and they were so quick with it. Phenomenal job. Line was so short, I was able to get two rides on right away. They just did such a, such a good job. And of course, the ride itself, so I can definitely tell it's gonna warm up later in the day. Second row, phenomenal, but definitely occasionally felt a little slow. Back row, Jesus, this could be my new number one. Like, I can't wait for it later in the day. This thing is phenomenal. Uh, great job, Kings of Maine already. I am so stoked. Best start today possible. And look at this. Does Kings of Maine think it's Bush Gardens or something with all these like themed street performers? This is amazing. Okay, time for Silk City. Lovely landscaping at the entrance right here already. Okay, so I just finished going on some water slides. I uh, first did, let me just walk over and show you guys. Um, but first off, I just want to talk about the water park in general. This thing is massive, not in the terms of how many slides there are. There aren't actually so many structures, but there is just so much woods and stuff. Like you look around, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, the wooded walk. The water park is just gorgeous, and from the some, top of some of the slide towers, you can just see how much like just massive Virginia trees, like these big pine trees, all around here, just go around all the park, and then all the big attractions just just rise above the trees. Really cool, unique vibe that you don't see very much. Landscaping at the water park, I don't remember being this amazing. I mean, I went eight years ago. It was just kind of like some water park, but it is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. all these like flowers and just the the rock gardens and everything uh, yeah they do a phenomenal job and the slides even though there's not a lot of quantity the quality is great and you got all these coasters going by the water park like rebel yell or racer 75 this is called now apparently and um i threw a five which is not running yet i'm kind of scared and then anaconda back a lot sun coaster so first i did these I did that big one where, uh, or the, the blue tube one where there's the big drop at the end. 
And then I did one of the drop captions right here. That was really fun as well. And then I went over to these guys and did this insane one. This You see this green one right here? So it's like 77 feet tall and it is the scariest or most intense water slide I've ever done in my life. The amount of G-force positive G's on this, on these helixes, are ridiculous. I'm gonna shoot this in a second, but sorry, I'm like all silhouetted now. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, it was just ridiculous. And I was actually kind of dizzy after the ride. I've never felt that way about water slide. So these were the ones I was talking about. Did not do the big uh, red drop one, but I did this green one. Look at these helixes. And then the ones at the end, so tight completely this one thing and when I hit the bottom of the splash pool I had no clue what was happening also there's this awesome thing right here which is so cool looking I did not get to go under it but yeah it's like really unique I've never seen that before and um, I also did one of the double last slides with my sister that was the yellow one I believe really fun as well probably my favorite water slide actually of all of them uh, there's like a cool like little waterfall pool thing during it right there and uh, just a lot of quick but laterals that made it super fun. Uh, this zoom flume one over here was unfortunately closed. But this is the my favorite part of the water park. It is just gorgeous. With besides this like massive like launcher thing, I don't even know what it is. It's a buoy, I guess. Um, you got all these like fake food trucks lining all around here. Like, look at these things. So cool looking. You got these really cool themed signs. And you got all of this is like a little kid, kitty play structure. And then I'm gonna show you guys in a second the really impressive play structure that uh, is new this year, the Coconut Shores uh, area. That uh, It looks brand spanking new and uh, they did a great job with it. Anyway, so here's the full of sand, lagoon themed thing. Very cute little pool. And here's the big new play structure. Lighthouse landing. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Really impressive job there. Let's see that again for a second. And I had a really good time. I wanted one of the slides on here. It's the blue and can't really see it. Very relaxing and it's just such a wet, fun time. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, so much water like interactive things just shooting at you. Yeah, this is a, a pretty big water park when you look at it. And uh, that, that was a pretty good collection of water slides down here. So I saw IPO5 running and I am so, so excited. What a cool restaurant facade. Very nice. I like Safari Village. Not a ton of theming, but some decent stuff. Random Giraffe is uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a hurt to see uh, no volcano since I was last year. Of course, it was uh, still operating, although it was closed the day I went, so I never got to ride it. Which makes me sad, but I'm not going to talk about that because, again, it makes me sad. And this is a happy day. We don't want to be sad. So I'm going to go back out to Sun Coaster and be happy. Oh my god, that's a long line. Okay, maybe I'm not that happy. <laughs> so again, huge props to the KD's um, operations. These are going so fast. Three trains. Back out to Sun Coaster. Great family coaster. So smooth. Got some good intensity. I wrote front row. Uh, two really nice launches. A couple of nice floater airtime pops, and this indoor section, which I just realized now, it starts over here. Let's see the train come right here. It starts over here and actually goes through this thing and it ends up here. I never realized that until now. Yeah, it's just so fun when you're in the dark and you're twisting. But yeah, so far, Kings of the Million has not missed, and maybe that's partially because I'm not going on this uh, crappy coaster right here. Um, even though Anaconda is really nice looking, and they do a really good job framing it, it's really pretty. But yeah, um, 
I think next up is uh, the big boy, I-305. I cannot wait to see how it compares to Twisted Timbers because that could be my new number one and I-305 is my former one, but you know, they'll have to duke it out. It would be cool if my top two are both at the same park. I believe this used to be like the archway, yeah, like where you could see Volcano when you come in. I can't make out the letters right here, but this like, you walk through it to get to Volcano, the Crypt, and Avalanche, and of course this whole area is closed up. Sort of a remnant of Volcano-ish. Very pretty though. It's crazy again to not see Volcano uh, as I'm walking to Flight of Fear and oh, I threw a five. Yeah, I'm not doing Flight of Fear today. I, uh, the clone of it is at my home park, Joker's Jinx Six Flags America, and that is vastly superior. I'm not a big fan of Flight of Fear. Rough gives me a headache. And look, you can see uh, over here is Avalanche, sitting all closed for the year, womp womp womp, behind all this construction. Now let's get a quick view, let's see if we can see anything over here. Yeah, that's uh, where Volcano used to sit. Very, very sad. I do like the theme in this area a lot. Again, it's kind of odd because like Flight of Fear, Aliens, and Intimidator 3 or 5, the race cars have nothing to do with each other. But both of them have their own little plazas. And both look very good. They're very well done. I always love walking to I-305 and seeing this epic entrance with the race cars and how it's framed with a massive structure. The architecture and engineering are just really immaculate on this thing. And I love just walking to and seeing it's the best the race car of Dale Earnhardt right over to the right, which we'll see in a second. This is like such a huge deal for me. This has been my favorite coaster for five years. It's held my number one for the longest time. And I am about to get another ride on it. I really cannot wait. I like there's Anaconda. Go the running two trains. Line is uh, there. It's a bit of a line, but looks manageable enough. I cannot wait for this thing. Oh, wait. where The race car used to be like right here. That's kind of sad. But look at that. Oh, I remember this gift shop where I got the shirt I remember. Right now. Look at that. Wearing the shirt. I'm so excited. And unlike my last park, it's Hershey Park. The shirt I'm wearing, the ride is actually open, you know. Sorry, I got a disc sky rush for not being open. Okay, this thing is amazing. Uh, second to last row, uh, trims do hit very hard. Um, so that's such like a coaster enthusiast for me to just critique it right away. But um, besides that, this thing is amazing. It's butter smooth, those transitions are wild. I do wish it was a lap bar, but you know what, the restraints are still pretty good. You get some killer floater air on that first airtime hill. In the back row, or towards the back, you get whipped over that first drop, it is amazing. I grayed out for a little bit up until like halfway through the hill. Uh, it was just phenomenal. Uh, you don't get airtime after that first hill, in my opinion, but the transitions are sick. That one in particular just blew me away. Um, I can't decide now if this or Twisted Timbers is my favorite. I gotta go on Twisted Timbers again. But yeah, my top two are both at this park, and that is dope. And this is, of course, the only uh, little bit of teaser for uh, the new ride, the new SNS free spin. That is pretty cool, though, this little display they have going with that snake. That's pretty creepy. Okay, so I just did the drop tower, which um, was great. Massive drop. Not as scary as I thought. It's not as powerful as the one at uh, Six Flags America, the older Intamin drop tower where it forces you down faster. But this was still wild. I mean, 72 miles per hour. And um, 
oh look, we have Dom Miller right behind me. Uh, and then and then I did a uh, Twisted Timbers again. Now it's warmed up a bit. Second to last row. That's my new number one. That thing flies. It's crazier than I threw a five, and like I can't believe I'm saying that. That these two coasters at the same park, it doesn't feel like it should exist, and um, that's why it's my favorite.